Welcome to day 14 and today we are discussing the chatbot demos and free trials that I've been building to my prospective clients. Right now I have three deals in the pipeline. One is working on a trial basis. Two more I'm building the demo bots for. The first question that would come up, what is the difference between these two kinds? Again, this is what I am doing. Only use what applies to you. Let's start with demo bots. I only give demo bots to people that meet two criteria. One, they should be interested in our product. Obviously, people that book our discovery call are interested in the product. And number two, this is the important one. They need to have a pain point that they want to solve. What do I mean by that? For example, if you take the discovery call I had yesterday, the customer has an e-commerce business. And the first requirement that he mentioned is we are spending a lot of money on customer support. Can you help us? That is a clear pain point. And I'm confident in saying yes, because I have already worked with an e-commerce client that we saved anywhere from 60 to 80 percent in the customer support queries. So I can build a demo bot for this person and expect that the deal would convert because I know it works for sure. That's the demo bot. So what bot will I build for a client that's working on a free trial basis? And I only move to free trial once the customer agrees for terms of the deal. And that includes especially pricing because once you have that number, you can go ahead and put in the work and build the bot. Again, this would be easier if I give you an example, right? So how will they differ? The first, the demo case and the free trial case. In demo, if we take the example of the Shopify e-commerce chatbot that I did two days ago, it has four conversational flows. That is buying products, which is product recommendations and customer support, answering questions. And there is also people where they can submit tickets, right? And this bot also had identity access management. It can actually determine whether the customer is an existing one or a new one. And if you look at the component section, you can go in and edit these to match your client's aid table for example if they want to implement whether the customer that's using the chatbot is an existing one or a new one so they can make these recommendations right we need their aid table api for submitting ticket section of things we can use their zendesk api these features would require additional work and this is a lot of work to do in a demo bot because we don't have that commitment yet but once they know what value is, once they see what kind of money they can save with these bots, we can agree on price and we can deliver this chatbot in a free trial where it's as close to final version as possible. But for the demo bot, I would usually pick anywhere from 20 to 25 products that the clients have and we would include custom knowledge base that would involve frequently asked questions, written policies and product recommendations, lead capturing. We capture the lead and instead of sending it to CRM, we can send it to, let's say, a Google Sheet and they can see the Google Sheet also in the demo that we provide. That's good enough to move forward and usually the pricing would come up after they see the demo and see the value and these trials would last anywhere from 15 to 30 days that's what i'm doing with my agency and the client will pay at the end of this trial and we will support them whatever the plan they pick whether it's a monthly retainer or one-time fee we will support them for first 60 days any problem that would come up or any improvement they need, which is within reasonable amount of time, we would do it. And then if they are not satisfied with the work, they can get their money back within that 60 days and they can keep the work also. So if you are a business and you want to implement something like this, book a discovery call with me. Let's figure out what we could do with your business. One final question that would come up a lot is I am reaching out to these clients or reaching out to these people or building a demo bot. How many products should I include or how to get these links? Should I go to the website and copy all of these links physically? Because some e-commerce stores have over one 100 
products how do i do that so i found a method this is what i am doing at my agency if you want to say reaching out to a coach or a consultant they have let's say 15 to 20 pages on their website it's relatively easier than e-commerce stores you can just add in sitemap.xml and you will get all the urls on their website but if you let's say going to a e-commerce store and this may not work each time these guys are showing something and the e-commerce store that i'm working for haven't displayed any results so this is what i found this is a website gillette.ca it's a men's grooming website and to get all of these links you need to say site colon gillette.ca website name goes here and once you hit enter you will get all the results available on the website as you may know you will only get about 10 leads per page to change that you go to quick settings search all settings and from results per page you should take it from 10 to 100 both of the clients that i work with had links less than 100 so i only had to copy one page i'm not saying you should physically copy each link there is a way for that you should go to link clump this is an extension once you install it on your chrome you go to options once link clump opens up this is the actions menu that you need to edit you won't see that initially you will add the action and you select mouse button left or right depending on your preference key is z and you can select the color the important part for the action you need to select copy to clipboard and the copy format is this is selected by default urls with title you don't really need titles for including them in knowledge base i will select urls only once you select this you need to hit save i already have mine so i'm not doing it once you have this action you go to your google site and you hit your left key and z once you select and you can drag it down drag it down all the way till the end once you are at the end you let go and the links are copied you can check that by going to a google sheet and paste there you have it if you have any questions join our discord and if you want to learn more about this particular chatbot that i'm building for my clients you can watch this tutorial video next and i'll see you there